I just wanted to start out by saying that uh, if you do snore, then you should definitely go get a sleep study done, even if you just snore a little bit, because you could have sleep apnea. Some people are kind of stubborn or ignorant. I was ignorant, but just talking to one of my relatives today, I was trying to get them to go get a, a uh, sleep study done, because I told them I use uh, CPAP, and it's really helped me out quite a bit, and they just kind of blew it off and told me right away. It was just because they want to sell me something. But anyways, regardless, if you snore, just go get a sleep study done. Insurance covers it. They'll work with you to make payments or whatever. Just you do have to go to a doctor first and get a referral to go get a sleep study done. But you really need to get it done. But with that being said, this video is an updated review of my Z Quiet mouthpiece. Because even though I do use CPAP now, I do still use my Z Quiet mouthpiece some nights if uh, uh, sometimes my face gets itchy with my CPAP mask on. So it can be a little annoying, but overall it's been a good experience. But uh, with that being said, back to Z Quiet. Um, all these uh, stop snoring mouthpieces are mandibular adjustment devices. If you want to get technical, that's what they called. But they all work on the same basic concept of advancing your lower jaw past your upper jaw and holding it there while you sleep. It's supposed to keep your airway open at night so you can breathe better and not snore. Because uh, when you sleep, your throat muscles relax, your jaw muscles relax, and especially your jaw can just really relax and fall, fall back down and uh, block your airway a little bit. And that's what snoring is, is the the sound of air trying to get through. Now, uh, the reason I do like Z Quiet so much and more than other mouthpieces is because it's got a unique design and a patent for something called the uh, Living Hinge technology, with, which is just a hinged mouthpiece, but it's pretty springy. This is a brand new one I just bought because it does get wore out over time, so you do have to purchase a new one. I'd probably go every two months, but uh, it might last longer than that. Uh, I wear mine out pretty quick, a couple months, but uh, it's really not that much money, especially when you consider the alternative of, of snoring, which can cause so many problems. But uh, anyways, Z Quiet works with the Living Hinge technology. You won't see this in any of the other mouthpieces because they don't have the patent for it. And uh, one of my problems with the other stop snoring mouthpieces was that one of my jaws would pop up and go over or under and it just defeats the purpose of the mouthpiece. And uh, that's why Z Quiet works so good for me. And uh, you can see from the rest of the footage, the live footage of me actually using the mouthpiece at night that it didn't stop my snoring 100%. But it was mainly when I was laying on my back with my face straight up and down where your jaw is more likely to fall completely fall down I would start snoring at times but uh, that happens to me with any mouthpiece whatsoever I usually slept on my left side which uh, puts less pressure on the mouthpiece but uh, since my I've been using my CPAP for over a month now I started sleeping on my back more for some reason which, which I didn't really notice until I made this video but with that being said yeah I started snoring a little bit when I was on my back but even if I was on my back and my head rotated to the side enough put less pressure on the mouthpiece and I would stop snoring. I had a great night's sleep. I woke up really refreshed, um, about the same as my CPAP. My wife did say that I still snore a little bit with my CPAP, just very rarely, just hardly at all. But uh, with that being said, whenever I switched over to my side and slept with my Z quiet mouthpiece in, you'll see by the footage that it just absolutely annihilated my snoring. So if you're a, a side sleeper, I really recommend this. If you're a back sleeper, um, I don't know what to say. Just go get a sleep study done. But uh, even if you are a back sleeper, if you just like roll your head to one side or the other, Z Quiet will stop your snoring. So please just enjoy the rest of the footage it's of me actually sleeping with the mouthpiece in so that uh, you know that um, I'm telling the truth. But it really works for me. I used my Z Quiet for years. I just went to go get a sleep study done just for the heck of it, and I did find out that I had had sleep apnea. But uh, please enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, stay tuned to the end for another small review. Thanks. Bye.